Audi A5 Sportback Review Our Rating 4 Star The A5 Sportback is a 5-door version of the A5 Coupe, catering for those that want style but can't afford to sacrifice practicality. 4. Fast and frugal engines, interior quality, style mixed with practicality. Against Space in the rear compromised by low roofline, not as fun to drive as a BMW 4 Series, style comes at a price. If you're in the market for a premium batched coupe but need a degree of practicality then the Audi A5 Sportback is well worth a look. It's better than ever, and while space in the back is limited for taller adults, the extra doors are a boon. It's not as fun to drive as a BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe, but even versions without Quattro all-wheel drive feel planted, refined and good to drive. The interior is among the classiest and best built of any car currently on sale, while the range of economical engines is simply the icing on the cake. Our choice. Audi A5 Sportback Sport 2.0 TDI 190 PS. The Audi A5 Sportback is a five-door coupe based on the Audi A4 Saloon. Sister car to the standard A5 coupe, the Sportback will appeal to buyers who prioritize style but aren't prepared to compromise when it comes to practicality. By adding a pair of rear doors, the Sportback becomes infinitely more practical than the normal car though taller adults will still struggle for space in the back. Now in its second generation, the A5 Sportback went on sale in the UK in early 2017. It's offered in SE, Sport, and S-Line guises, with a choice of powerful petrol and diesel engines as well as a range-topping V6 turbocharged S5 version. The 2.0-liter TDI Ultra will be most popular with fleet buyers, thanks to its low CO2 emissions and impressive fuel economy. Entry-level diesel models come with a 6-speed manual gearbox, though all other versions use a 7-speed S-Tronic dual-clutch setup. This auto shifts gears quickly and smoothly either of its own accord or via a set of steering wheel mounted paddles. Quattro all-wheel drive is available across the range, though basic diesels are driven only via the front axle. All 2.0 liter XV petrols and 3.0 liter TDI diesels as well as the flagship S5 get Quattro as standard. The A5 Sportback's main rival is the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe, though buyers in the market for this car may also consider more stylish saloons like the Alfa Romeo Giulia or Jaguar XE. Those who can do without the rear doors are treated to a plethora of options including the Mercedes C-Class Coupe and Lexus RC300H. But the Sportback name isn't restricted to the A5. Lower down the range you'll find a more conventional hatchback-shaped A3 Sportback, while those with a bit more cash per month might consider the bigger, plush A7 Sportback, which is based on the practical A6 Executive Saloon. Engines, Performance, and Drive 4 Star A wide range of powerful petrol and diesel engines should mean there's something for everyone. The A5 Sportback is a comfortable, refined, and sure-footed 5-door coupe, and while a BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe might be more fun, it's the Audi that offers a more complete package. Most models come with the brand's venerable Quattro all-wheel drive system, and while very few UK buyers will ever truly rely on it, it gives the A5 a sense of security otherwise missing on many of the car's key rivals. Optional on the 2.0-liter TDI but standard on the Tiefsi 3.0 TDI and S5 versions, Quattro offers bags of grip and loads of control on wet, greasy B roads. This car is also totally at home on the motorway, where high-speed refinement is excellent. Like all Audis, the A5S cabin is well insulated from wind and road noise though bigger wheels can affect the sense of calm. The four-cylinder 2.0-liter TDI diesels can seem a little gruff under hard acceleration, but it's hardly cause for concern. Head into some corners and you'll find the A5 Sportback composed rather than fun. Being based on the VW Group's MQB platform means the current car is better to drive than its predecessor, but a rear-wheel drive BMW is still more engaging. The A5 is nimble enough, however, with impressive body control and loads of grunt. The steering is a little numb, 
but you can add weight using the drive select button on the dash. Engines Most buyers will make do with the 2.0 liter TDI, which is both fast and frugal. The standard 187 bhp version will do 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.9 seconds regardless of whether you select the 6 speed manual or dual clutch auto, while adding quattro slashes half a second from this time. It's a really punchy unit, and only ever noisy under really hard acceleration. The silky smooth 6 cylinder 215 bhp 3.0 TDI is faster still, completing the same sprint in 6.4 seconds mated to the 7-speed S-Tronic box and Quattro all-wheel drive. What the 249BHP 2.0 TFC Quattro loses in fuel economy it makes up for in straight-line pace, with 0 to 62 miles per hour over in 6.0 seconds flat though the increased torque of the diesels make them feel faster in the real world. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 4 Star the 2.0 liter TDI Ultra will make up the bulk of sales, and the low emissions mean it's easy to see why. No matter which engine you go for, the Audi A5 Sportback is an economical and cheap to run family car. What it loses to the BMW 4 Series in terms of dynamics and driver fun, it makes up with its slightly lower emissions and impressive fuel economy. The entry-level front-wheel drive diesel emits just 106g slash km of CO2 when mated to the 7-speed S-Tronic gearbox. The 6-speed manual isn't far behind, 108g slash km, while even the Quattro comes in below 120g slash km. It's worth noting that the bigger wheels on S-Line models will have an affect on emissions and could push your car into the next company car big tax band. Fuel economy of 68.9 mpg for the fuel efficient Ultra is among the best in this class, too. Step up to the 3.0 liter TDI and that added performance will mean taking a hit on the fuel bills. However, even the thirstiest S-Line versions will still return 58.9 mpg and emit 124 g slash km of CO2, not bad when you consider the huge torque on offer. Unsurprisingly, the 2.0-liter petrol is the most expensive car, apart from the range-topping S5, to run, emitting 136g slash km in sport trim and 141g slash km in S-line spec. Fuel economy stands at 47.9 mpg and 45.6 mpg respectively, and there's no economical front-wheel drive version on offer. Insurance Groups Insurance for the Audi A5 Sportback starts at Group 28 for an entry-level 2.0-liter TDI Ultra SE, with the better-equipped S-Line Quattro Auto coming in at Group 32. The 3.0-liter TDI is Group 36, while an S5 is Group 41. For comparison, the popular BMW 420D Grand Coupe in M Sport trim is Group 31, though the 440i trumps the S5 by falling into Group 38. A two-door Mercedes C220D Coupe in AMG line guy sits in Insurance Group 32. Depreciation Residual values for the A5 Sportback are strong, and follow the current trend for Audi models. An A5 Sportback TDI Ultra in SE spec will retain 46% of its value after 3 years or 36,000 miles, while an S-Line Auto is closer to 47 per center. The best model in the range is actually the most expensive S5, which holds on to 51 per center of its value over the same time frame. The BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe offers similar numbers, ranging from 41 per center for the 430i, to 51 per center for the 420d M Sport. Interior, Design, and Technology 4.6 star. The Audi A5 Sportback raises the bar when it comes to interior quality, with plenty of technology and a logically laid out cabin. There's no arguing the fact that Audi's A5 Sportback is a more desirable car than the A4 saloon on which it's based. However, the sleek and aerodynamic body shell does mean you'll need to make small compromises inside where the sloping roofline eats into passenger space. From the front, the new A5 Sportback looks just like the coupe on which it is based, 
and is even rather tricky to distinguish from the A4 at first glance. SE cars come with 17-inch wheels and xenon headlights, but it's the sport version that we believe offers the best value for money adding leather sports seats, sat NAV and a 3-month trial to Audi Connect. S-line cars boast bigger 18-inch rims, though it's worth remembering that these will adversely affect the car's CO2 emissions. LED lights with scrolling indicators are also included on top spec cars. Inside, the A5 is a perfect example of Audi's high quality standards and super classy interior design. It's beautifully built and covered in soft touch materials from top to bottom. The dials and buttons are clear and easy to read. SAT NAV, Stereo and Infotainment Spec a car with Audi's optional 12.3-inch virtual cockpit system and you'll instantly feel like you're driving a car from the future. Sitting in place of the conventional dials, the fully digital setup can display full-screen SAT NAV mapping, media data or trip information alongside the speedometer and rev counter. It's super intuitive to use and looks great. However, even those without the virtual cockpit dials have a high-quality feel, with a classy fit and finish unseen on anything else in this class. A Mercedes C-Class runs the A5 close for solidity and elegant switch gear, but the Audi really does raise the bar. Everything is easy to use, with the brand's familiar scroll wheel controlling all the infotainment functions. Unlike the latest BMW systems, however, there's no option for a touch screen display, making flicking through the menus a slightly longer and more laborious affair. It's also worth noting that you'll need to step up from SE to Sport to get SAT NAV and Audi Connect online services, though all cars feature three-zone climate control. Practicality, Comfort, and Boot Space 3.4 Star While the A5 Sportback is more versatile than the standard coupe, the A4 is more practical. The Audi range is among the biggest and most extensive offered by any manufacturer in the UK, with a different model for seemingly every niche. The A5 Sportback is one of those niches offering a more desirable design than the boxy A4 saloon and greater practicality over the standard A5 coupe. However, greater practicality doesn't mean it's all that versatile, with space in the back limited for taller adults, and the sloping roofline limiting overall boot space. Size At 4.73 m long, the A5 Sportback is 90 mm longer than a BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe, 4.64 m. It's ever so slightly wider, too, 1.84 m plays 1.83 m, though the cars are identical in height, give or take a few millimeters, 1.39 m. On the road, the BMW feels slightly more agile, though neither is unwieldy. The Audi is more sure-footed, especially on those models fitted with Quattro all-wheel drive. Legroom, headroom and passenger space. If you regularly carry taller adults then an A4 or A6 remains a more sensible choice, however, if you have smaller children or only require the back seats very occasionally, then the A5 Sportback is a brilliant halfway house. It offers a degree of extra practicality without losing the sleek and stylish coupe body. Headroom isn't all that plentiful for those over 6 feet tall, though anyone else should find there's enough space in the back for longer journeys. The middle seat is near enough useless, however, as you sit perched up above the outer seats without any kind of bolstering to keep you in place. Boot. This is where the Audi A5 Sportback comes into its own, offering buyer's style by the shed load, made it to a decent 480 liter boot. Unlike the coupe, the Sportback's boot opens from the roof, infinitely improving versatility. Owners will find handy tie-down points and luggage nets too, though there's no underfloor storage for stashing valuables out of sight. The rear seats do fold down, and although Audi doesn't publish a total volume with everything folded flat, it's a usable space that should suffice on the occasional trip to the tip. It's certainly a match for the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe's 1,300 liter load bay. Of course, if it's ultimate practicality you're after, an A4 or A6 Avant Estate will tick more boxes, while the new Q5 offers plenty of space in a trendy SUV body.
reliability and safety. 4 Star The A5 Sportback has the power of the VW Group behind it, meaning it comes loaded with safety kit. Our most recent driver power survey showed Audi falling down the ranks when it comes to reliability and owner satisfaction. The brand finished a disappointing 21st place out of 32 makers a drop of 8 since 2015. Reliability was a particular bugbear, where Audi finished 23rd despite a 6th place finish for quality. Safety is very good, too, and while the Euro NCAP hasn't specifically tested the A5 Sport back, it awarded the A4 Saloon and A5 Coupe the full 5 stars. It gained an 89%er rating for adult occupant protection, 87%er for child protection and 75%er for pedestrian protection. A 75%er safety assist score is also impressive. All cars get EAP automatic braking, a host of airbags and ISO fix child seat mountings. Blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control and lane departure warning are on the options list. Warranty. All autos come with a 3-year, 60,000 mile warranty, and while that may sound generous enough, many manufacturers offer a more competitive guarantee these days. Even BMW offers an unlimited mileage policy for the first 5 years, while many will provide cover for even longer. However, with many buyers trading their cars in after 2 or 3 years, Lengthy warranties are becoming less and less relevant. If you fall into this bracket, you should have few concerns about the Audi's reliability. Servicing The Audi A5 Sportback needs servicing every 12 months or 10,000 miles, 164 pounds for a 2.0 TDI or 2.0 TFC, whichever comes sooner. A bigger and pricier service, 319 pounds, comes every two years or 20,000 miles. The 3.0 liter TDI is more expensive to maintain, costing £199 and £399 respectively.